And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jinx's Fate, our next donation deck. Uh, it's donation deck day. All four decks today were viewer submitted lists. Kendis with that resub. Thank you so much, Kendis. You are wonderful. Hope everything's going good over there. And thanks for keeping that going. Uh, <laughs> nope. All good. Yep. Everything's going good over here, Pools. Also welcome. All right. Anyway, anyway, uh, back to our deck. So we have uh, Jinx's Fate. This deck is... Uh, this, one's, we're, this one's all about drawing and discarding, which is kind of weird. We're going to be just trying to draw, discard a whole lot. Our two champions are Jinx and Twisted Fate, which it's kind of weird putting Jinx and Twisted Fate together. It's like they... I don't know, they kind of work together, but they kind of don't. So basically, Jinx levels up whenever your hand is empty. So you think you want to just get rid of as many cards as you can because you need to get your hand empty to level up Jinx. But Twisted Fate levels up when you draw eight plus cards. And so those those two are kind of um, opposites, right? Like you're trying to draw a lot of cards with Twisted Fate, but you're trying to empty your hand with Jinx. So that's kind of difficult to do. However, if you can get Jinx leveled up, then Jinx at the round start draws an extra card. And so that's really nice, drawing two cards a turn. That makes you level up Twisted Fate much faster. So what we do have is, um, oh, whoops. Uh, no, never mind. Okay, so but what we do have is a lot of uh, things that kind of do like some drawing and discarding. We got these Brash Gamblers in here that uh, to play me discard to, and so like you can kind of have like that discard to, to help empty your hand right away for Jinx, but then whenever you attack, you get to draw two fleeting cards, so they only stay in your hand until the round ends. Um, we have kind of some some similar things to that, like Investigator is going to have everybody draw a card, but then Sump Dredger, we discard a card. You know, so we're kind of going back and forth like that. Um, we get to draw some fleeting cards with Pool Shark, um, and get some more fleeting cards with Pick a Card. They're drawing a lot of fleeting cards, and that's it. Does like the discard stuff is more valuable when you have like these fleeting cards because we'll have like these cards that we can't cast because they're fleeting, and like we just don't have the mana to cast everything. And then we can, you know, use, um, you know, we can just discard one to a sump dredger if we can't cast it anyway, and so on. Hopefully, we make our astute academics really big, also. Uh, we'll be drawing a lot of cards and rifling through our deck. So that's what we're going to be doing here. So let's give this a shot. Let's go play uh, five games with Jinx's Faint over in Ranked. Quick question, is Sejuani Swain a good deck right now? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it is. It's, um, and if not, what's the best version of Swain? That's probably the best version of Swain. Uh, that's probably the best Swain deck is with Sejuani. Um, so, yeah. Good deck. Hey, Shade. Welcome, welcome. All right, definitely want to keep our Twisted Fates. Um, I kind of like this hand. I'm going to get rid of the Get Excited, though. But I kind of like this start. Like, this is going to be pretty interesting. We're just going to draw one fleeting with the Pool Shark. Right? And then we'll play the Sump Dredger and discard that card. We could discard the Jury Rig, I guess. But, I mean, we might as well discard this Get Excited that we can't play anyway. Watch this. So, like, that's a pretty cool combo. Um... Honestly, it's maybe not good to play Investigator yet. I think I want to wait for, like, Twisted Fate to be up before we play Investigator. Or, honestly, maybe we just don't play Investigator at all, and that's, like, a card that we discard. Dun, dun, dun. 
Yay. Worried about single combat. Glad that worked. I will keep us safe. And now we're hopefully going to draw a good amount of cards. Gambler. No, I don't, Kuno. Control the mage. Oh no, not insane. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. All I want to do is level up my Twisted Fate. That's all I want to do. I'm like not even trying to. Oh, come on. <clears throat> not not trying to do anything but level up Twisted Fate. That's all I want to do. Live in the moment. I guess we'll attack with this thing, draw a couple fleeting cards. No sympathy for sorcery. All right, well, that gotcha's fleeting. Let's just cast that. We'll just play it on the 6-2. Keep our 4-5 alive. All right, let's mess some folks up. All right, so we're definitely playing the Jinx. Let's go with Pool Shark and Jinx. Where do you stand on cold shot? Ooh, got another donation deck, core deck. Awesome. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings or people. All right, Sasha asked my favorite champion, the champion I dislike the most, and why for both and for archetypes. Um. So yeah, I'm not the one. Like, as far as me, I usually like. I, mean, I usually see just like the the positive aspects of most everything and so like i'm not one that really has uh things that are like my super favorite and things i really dislike and, and stuff like that i'm not i'm just not that kind of person um i i kind of appreciate things for what they are um but that being said my my favorite regions to play are like uh Freljord, Noxus, and Bilgewater, those three regions. And so, like, those kind of decks, like Twisted Fate, Sejuani, um, kind of decks. Um, I don't really love any anything here. I really so basically what I was really thinking about there is just going pick a card, just you know put one back and then um, then play augmented experimenter and have that you know empty my hand for Jinx. Banish the unworthy. Yeah, Vlad. Yep, definitely really like playing Vlad decks. Something the matter. Yeah, tw I I have a Twisted Fate Lee Sin deck that we we just played the other day that I that I thought felt really good. Um, I don't know if you saw that deck. If that's what you're asking about. But it was definitely a fun one to play. We got unlucky in some of the games. That was a fun one to play though. Who 
Tracks down. I don't really like any of these options. <laughs> Again, still. Can't win if you don't play. Surprise, surprise. I will end this here. Gonna be trying to get excited to kill this Radiant Guardian. If you discarded Experimenter and played the Investigator. Are we gonna just run out of cards? Like, how do we do 20 damage? Is that something that our deck worries about? How do we actually do 20 damage? That's what I'm trying to figure out. How, how do we win? Like, I'm, I'm not even sure the answer to that question. Like how, how do we actually win the game? Yeah, you just level a twist of fate. We're just gonna run out of cards though. Even if we even if we find a twist because we can't find a twisted fate, so even if we find a twisted fate, we're not gonna have enough cards. Nothing lasts forever. Can't win if you don't play. Yeah, I don't I don't really see any way I can win this game to be honest. Against against my opponent's deck with like these radiant guardians and all this defense and stuff and Vi and like they haven't played a Vi and Lux yet. Like I I don't see how we're gonna actually get twenty points of damage across. So many questions. Tilt it over enforcer on the scene. Yeah, I don't really see how this is going to work. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Eyes open. Yeah, like, yeah, definitely like, um, Hecarim ephemeral stuff. Yep. Definitely. Too. 
Kill is silenced. I trouble coming at ya. Yeah, I don't think we can win. A foray into the field? How exciting! All right, that was kind of like the test game. Turn the deck out now. Here we go. <laughs> we have all all the defensive stuff they had, and big creatures, and all the life gain, and all the removal. Just don't, we don't have we don't have ways to do twenty damage. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we we're missing that could have done the twenty damage, but we did not have cards that could do that. Are there ways that we can protect twi Twisted Fate so they can't kill Twisted Fate so, so easily? Is there any ways to protect it? Yes, it's because of the cost, and you can't really attack and block with it. Yes, Neverglade Collector is is just not impactful enough for a five mana card. Is what I've been experiencing. Are we playing build rules, son. That's lucky. Watch this. One damage. If they play something that blocks these and I don't get to get that one damage across, that's fine. These old eyes still see far. Um yeah. Have this die now before like a Callista comes in play or before they do something else like that. But the reason why I wanted to play that first is because if they played Curse Keeper, which is a very popular turn two play. If their turn two is Curse Keeper, I wanted to have the extra damage. I think we should have slot bots in the stack. Um, I don't think I've seen a Draven Lee Sin deck. Not that I recall. I'm always up for a round or two. I think a Draven Lee Sin deck could be pretty sweet. I think that I think that could be a really good combination. I'll write that down. I'll I'll try to make a Draven Lee Syndic sometime. That could be a good combination. Maybe suit up? Will we play like two suit ups to help protect Twisted Fate? that possible? Win big or die try. Try on the high stakes table, huh? Yeah, sure, Bazoo. Yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Yeah, that would be good. Okay, so didn't challenge Wait a minute. Twisted Fate. Interesting. I'm certainly expecting a Twisted Fate challenge, but hmm, I just have a Vile Feast. We must all make sacrifices. 
No, pocket aces doesn't really protect. Just just adding one toughness. No, I'd rather have suit up. Because you can also just put suit up on like a crappy jury rig or pool shark or something like that. And have it be impactful. Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely sure that, yeah, somebody's played Draven and Lee Sin together. I'm not saying that's never happened. I'm just saying I've, I've never seen it. Can't really beat that card. Is it even worth attacking and drawing two fleeting? Now it's a party. Man, people are rude. Ooh. Like they're <laughs> they're dominating this game, yeah, they have to uh, do that kind of thing. Like, that's not good enough for them. The Guru follows. Where are you going? Yeah, that that's kind of yep exactly pools. It's a this we have a cool concept for a deck, but yeah, we need more um, both protection and removal, both of those. So good. Dead in their tracks. I don't think it's Jinx that's weak. I think Jinx is a strong champion. We're playing a whole lot of weak cards that are synergistic. It's not Jinx, it's it's some of these other cards that we're playing. But yeah, we need we need some kind of protection. Is there anything better than I mean we just we just can't yeah, like we <laughs> We had to be able to protect Twisted Fate somehow. Um, is there anything besides suit up? You know, like we don't have like a twin disciplines or any barrier or anything like that, do we? I mean, I don't, I don't, pocket aces doesn't really count. One, one health, that's not, that's not protection. I guess it's suit up. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna get rid of these veteran investigators. I really don't like that card. I don't. I don't think that card's a, a positive card, honestly. Um, as you could tell, I was discarding that card every single time. I never cast it. I'm gonna get rid of that card. We're gonna play a couple of suit ups, and 
Um, let's get some slot bots in here too. Yeah, I think we need slot bot too. How can we fit three slot bot? Probably trim a little bit on the, the discard cards, or maybe just patrol wardens. Like slot bots better than patrol wardens, and like those those both both cost three mana. So we could probably just trim some patrol wardens. They kind of do the same thing of like be um, something that's big, but slot bots going to be a lot better. So there we go. Because the thing is, is like sometimes you don't really need suit up, but our deck is already is designed to be able like to discard cards, and so if there's a time that we don't need suit up, we can discard it. But there's gonna be some times where we just have to have uh, suit up protect twisted fate. I've been kind of happy with these brash gamblers. I I've been kind of impressed with them. I want to keep I want to keep trying them out more. I'm gonna keep I want to keep them in. I don't really want to trim one of those. I could see getting rid of the other patrol wardens for another suit for just pl just play three suit ups or how can we get let's see thermogenic beam like how can we get like a removal spell for something that's big I guess thermogenic beam. This is not a very good thermogenic beam deck you don't really want to use all your mana that much but we don't want like a ton but i think let's play one a oh, rex at the top end you maybe difficult for us to turn on rex i wonder if this is like a really good mind meld deck if we're like playing all these spells maybe not or a smooth soloist deck. We've drawn all this stuff. I don't know. Let's let's just make these couple changes here. So we're just gonna take out. Um, we took out our two a two drop and a three drop, and we're gonna try some slot bots, and then and then some more spells, a couple suit ups, and a thermogenic beam. Let's try that. And I'm going to edit the deck. And yet, I uh, hope, hope you don't mind, Scrubblord, that, we're, that I'm ed editing your donation deck. I think you were saying before that you were fine with some edits. Um, kind of want to play it a little bit first, though. Let's see. Sejuani, Misfortune. Sand could be okay. I like how we have, like, removal spells for Misfortune. And the Jury Rig is just something we can discard. Alright, so we're taking out those six, and now we're putting in one Thermogenic Beam. Three Slot Bots. And to suit up. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. Yeah. Let's get to it. You want to try to keep them from turning on plunder as much as you can. You're obviously not going to be able to stop them forever. Fight. 
All right, they're, they have make it rain. So maybe make it rain will hit the pool shark now instead of my 4-1. And the pool shark shark will draw a fleeting card. Ooh. I was going to say we can we can just discard the fleeting card to the brash gambler or the get excited, but that is a suit up. That could be kind of nice turning this, you know, 4-1 or or the 1-1, one, one, you know, turning any of these into a 4-4. Four, four. I guess it would make more sense to do something that's not vulnerable to so turning like a scrap scuttler into a 4-4. Four, four. Could be nice. Yes, they're gonna kill that. Um, let's do it. Okay, so you play this deck from silver one to gold. Nice. Yeah, the play in deck level is a little lower there. That's that's still a, that's okay. Yeah, I'm going to be discarding the Astute Academic. I don't really want to... Ugh. I don't really want to get excited those. Because for the most part, they've already done their thing. really want to hit Misfortune. Bilgewater so good. Friend here needs you to pay up. Double black market merchant Yordle Grifter. Yuck. Maybe I shuffle the gotcha back. And then, because I'll have like an abundance of cards next turn, and so I can use the Sump Dredger to discard one of them. Doesn't sound like the worst thing ever. They took a rummage from me and a slot bot and a pick a card. And they just. So those are the three cards they stole from me. Ugh. I have too many cards I want to play. Oh, they have the priority. Or two. Dead in their tracks. Get on the floor. Out here, black market merchant. So my brash gambler was already going to take uh, two damage. Now it just took one additional damage. Um, Nothing lasts forever. Putting study into practice. Looks like trouble. 
always have a backup plan. Credit denied! So I can even kill the Sejuani with the Twisted Fate through a... We can kill it through a Fury of the North. With having the two gotchas, I mean, now we have to get excited, so same thing. Just get excited anyway. We'll just get rid of this thing. This thing's pretty annoying, you know, like having Scout and and elusive. Like with Scout, you know, like just get to gets to ping me. You know, like that could be a lot of attacks with that thing. It's kind of annoying. So we'll get we'll get rid of it. That's not a card I want to draw. Well, we're dead, but I, th I think our deck, I think our deck was better. I do like the additions to the cards we made. I liked the, the suit up, but we're dead. We really need to speed this up. One, it's too many, this is too many cannons. They do too many cannons for that thing. They do like three cannonballs for each one of those, for each trigger, so they do 21 of those things. It's too much. Like this only does, like it does two damage. Why is there three cannonballs to do two damage? Doesn't even make sense. Yeah, leveling up Twisted Fate with... Seems like an impossible task. I at least have, like, the suit up to help it a little bit, but... That seemed like an impossible task to level up Twisted Fate. Well, I'm playing to win the game, not to not lose the game. I think this is my play that could win the game of like we get to eat this now and then if, if the some treasure gets to stay alive somehow and we still get to trade with the 7-4, that's the way that we could win the game. play does mean that we lose a lot faster if we lose We got Anivia Trindamir. Maybe they won't kill Twisted Fate. 
Okay, we got a slot bot. That's nice. Definitely excited about this slot bot. Like this curve, turn two, some treasure. Turn three, slot bot. We could really have this slot bot go crazy in a couple of turns. I do, like, that's such a fast pass. What did we get? I'll go back to my turn and, and attack. I feel like that's like an avalanche that they're trying to, you know, have me play something else and then they're going to avalanche. Our strength is yours. Just passed too quickly. All in, baby. Square Slow, do you have any you have any other idea? I mean, suit up was a card that I put in here to protect Twisted Fate. Do you have any other idea to protect Twisted Fate? You have anything better that you'd rather play? Any other ideas? Good chance they have ruination, but it's just how it is. So we're drawn. We're not doing anything else. We're just going to be drawing cards. I, you know, if they have ruination, that's really sad. If they don't, if they don't have ruination, we are golden. Avalanche. All right, let's look for suit up. No suit up. I think that was the avalanche that they had. Um, yeah, I do think they had that avalanche on on turn. What was that? Turn four that they wanted me to play into, and I didn't. No. All right, at least they're not killing Slopbot. Slopbot's gonna be big. Function call. Celebrate. Told you it's gonna be big. So much to play for. Get him, Slopbot. Get him. Living dead, no matter. All right, let's get excited. Let's get excited. Got the win. All right, one and three. Yeah, slot bot is huge. Huge bot. All right, there we go. There we go, got a win.
Respectable now. Respectable. Go one and three. Okay, Fiora Shen. So a Shen barrier deck. Not what we want to see. Challenger. Um, don't really want to see Challenger cards when we're trying to play Twisted Fates. Those don't go too well together. Slot pot was the friends we made along the way. These woods protect their own. My grove. Just as I have outside. Feed Demacia. What did we get? No. Always two steps ahead. So like if I go red card, I can take out the tracker, but then you know, like the Fiora is gonna mess us up. Um, if I go, if I go gold card, then the Fiora doesn't mess us up, and then the tracker can kill, uh, you know, anything at once. It trades with anything, which is probably just Twisted Fate. But then I also just don't really have anything else to remove the Fiora at that point. If they have a single combat, that's like the worst news. I mean, I guess that, yeah. I mean, that's bad. Now, now they can kill the slot bot. I, I was, I was trying to actually save the slot bot. You know, like do it like this. They go and challenge and kill. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, because they don't want to. They don't want slot bot to die, or they don't want Fjord to die. Okay, slot bot stayed alive. That's good. I would have loved to play the Rummage again, but I don't think we can just uh, Rummage away, get excited against a Fiora deck. That doesn't sound like something I should do. No attacks. Pass turn. For the honor of House Laurent. Dang, they attacked. Honor guide me. Well, 
This is pretty unfortunate, the 08. You can't just have like one power. Um. Let's kill this thing. Keep this slot bot growing. I think that 5-4 is just scarier. I mean, I still had the other get excited for the Fiora, and, like, these things are going to be getting bigger than Fiora anyway. Wasn't as worried about Fiora as, like, that 5-4 doing all that damage to the slot bot. Um... Alright, no more get excited. It's just too good getting three cards. All these away. Yeah, that was kind of unfortunate. They had another, you know, another protection spell, and out of all of those cards, uh, you know, like those seven that we drew, we didn't draw a fast speed removal out of those seven. Just kind of debating, do I want to block with slot bots? Yeah, I think we have to. I mean, we could take it. things go right to get Fiora to get to this spot. I know I could have killed Fiora, of course, before, but so they had a lot of things go right just to get to this spot. Um. Let's see who backs down. Come on, give it a try. Always have a backup plan. Stand for what's right. Great. 
That puts us down to one. Sump Dredger. What does that draw? I don't really mind any of the, the plays that I had that game, honestly. I, I think that killing the 5-4 was the better play than killing the Fiora. I don't regret that. Um, it's just... It, it, our kinds, our card, eh, our cards really lined up awkwardly, and they they drew well there towards the end. They they did, and um, yeah, ours ours really did go pretty awkward. Um, I don't think I really like yeah the dredger yeah the dredger is really. I think we do kind of have too much of like this discard stuff, do we? Like maybe like astute academic like is this card really doing you know pulling its weight? You know, Sump Dredger, is this card really pulling its weight? I don't know. I feel like maybe you just want to keep on going with more card draw stuff. Like it feels like this is not really a Jinx deck. If that makes sense. You know, it feels like if we had something that was like really powerful to play like Vi instead of Jinx, like I feel like this would kind of be better as like a Vi deck, not a Jinx deck kind of thing. But um, we got to draw lots of cards. That was cool. It's just, yeah, sometimes you just draw like your sump dredgers and your astute academics like we did there. And, uh, and you just need some kind of any fast speed removal spell whatsoever to break up a barrier. Doesn't always happen. Uh, but yeah, there's there's other times. Yeah, dredgers felt pretty good on turn two when we were discarding a jury rig, and we did that a good amount of times, and that that felt pretty good, playing some dredger on turn two. But it's not like it's not like it it's not like opponents couldn't deal with a four three. It's not like that was winning games. I don't know. Um. Of course, I was talking about like maybe play like Vi instead. I mean, I we did that that twisted Vi. I mean, I, I do really like Twisted Fate and Vi together, but this is you know like a little different. You know, you have like just Black Market Merchant, Pilfered Goods, those cards. Those cards are just so good, and um, you know like we're playing a lot of cards that are below average to try to get some extra card draw, and it's honestly probably not worth it with how with when you have cards like when you have those other bilge water cards that just draw cards for you and they're all really good you know like your zap spray fin your yordle grifter your um black market merchant pilfered goods you can already have a ton of card draw and it's probably just not worth playing you know pick a card and some dredger and pool shark and astute academic and all that kind of stuff unfortunately but that's how it goes. That's how it goes. You know, it's always good to play different stuff instead of just playing the same stuff all the time. Um, it, it really is good to uh, branch out because, like, for example, like Brash Gambler, I was really impressed with this card. I didn't expect that much of this card. I was really impressed with this. Like, the 4 or 5 body was really big. Um, like, yes, you have to discard two right away, but the, each time you attack, draw two fleeting. That was pretty sweet. So, yeah, I was, I was definitely impressed with this card. A card I've never played before, you know, like, and so that's, that's a th thing of like play, play different cards. You can kind of see how things interact and I'll probably have Brash Gambler in like, yeah, like this card will probably make some decks going forward that maybe it would not have, uh, before we played this. No, it's all, all good, Scrub Lord. All good. Um, thanks for the donation deck here. All right. So that's Jinx's Fate. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And if you've been trying a similar deck like this, feel free to let me know in the comments. I know, um, I know there was uh, somebody on YouTube the other day that that had a, a Jinx Twisted Fate um, uh, deck code in the comments. So yeah, if you're over there, if you uh, see this, put the, you know, feel free to put that back in the comments for this one too. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Jinx's Fate. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.